So with the stadium filled, virtually to capacity, Celtic kick off. And they received a very warm welcome, of course, from their supporters after the heroic performance on Saturday. You'll see the Celtic players playing with numbers on their backs. UEFA rules dictate. And Celtic on the attack straight away. Narconada at full stretch. They turn that behind from Frank McGarvey. Well, just the start that Celtic wanted. Pouring the central defenders forward. Aiken and McAdam in the box. There's Roy Aiken, marked all the way back. Davy Province corner kick. McLeod back to Aiken. Every Spanish player back in the box for that corner kick. Rain plays it forward. There's Nicholas. Just too neat with that little layoff aim for Father McLeod. There's McGarvey. Again, being forced to go back. Paul McStay available square, using Mother McLeod. And it's Real on the break, Zamora. Tilayeta. And that very loose pass inside is picked up by David Proven. And a free kick given to Real. Victor was Uparte, and the referee who gave it is Mr. Alex Pony from Belgium. So the pressure goes off the Spanish defence. Ola Itzola with the free kick. Commanding header out by McAdam. There's Sinclair. He's found Proven. McGarvey making headway on the right. Nicholas waiting in the middle. And that'll be another corner kick. Celayeto with the clearing header. Well, no, it may just have gone for a throw. The corner flag. Charlie Nicholas. Just won another corner kick. So Aiken again coming forward for Celtic. Dangerous ball, Arcanada under pressure, and the free kick is given right on the goal line. Touch on by McGarvey. Ball is kept in play by Satrustigi. Uh, McAdam doing a fine job covering across. So Aiken surging forward. The Spanish players funneling back. Everyone facing the ball as McGrain looks for a gap ahead. Robin losing it to Ubate, and that's returned to him by Oletzola. McStay getting back. Good piece of defending by young Paul McStay, who certainly looks fit and sharp. Zamora turning it back. Arcanara looking very cool indeed in the Spanish goal. Look at him again. This is Ufarte leaving it in midfield. To Zubiaga. Ufarte again. Zamora is the man that always looking for in midfield. Number 10. And it's Real Sociedad who have the throw. Sinclair challenging and McLeod pumping it forward to let 
by Garvey Chase. Silayeta with the throw for Real. Okay, that well over on the left. The player is looking for Nicholas. Clearance by Olay Zola. Zubiaga. The green stepping in. Mick Stay making space for him on the right. Calvin is marked very closely ahead on the touchline. Good turn by McGarvey. Now Calvin. He played a great complement of three Spanish players all around him. Now we are on the break. This is Uforte. Satustica going up. Zamora's on the left, this is Zamora. Not quite decisive enough. All the self-defense, of course, has to beware these fast breaks from the Spanish side. Masters are hitting in the break. Close forward pass, going harmlessly into the Real box. Porta Baria escorting it back to his goalkeeper. Zubiaga, this is beyond Macadam, that's Uraldi, Satristigi. Good play by Aiken and then by McGrain. Salayeta has been given a mark and roll in Magavi. Side flag up at the far side of the field. The Celtic with a free kick. Lanzola, the clearance picked up by Oraldi. He's bustled from behind by Reed. Tavaria with the free kick. Look at him, students. Nicholas had come inside. Leaving Goris with the clearance. That's excellent control from Oralde. He scored in the first leg in Spain. Still Oralde for Real. Zubiaga. Arrafate showing his pace, taking on McGrain. Robin back helping. That's a Spanish throw. I can't understand Danny McGrain's argument there. He seemed clearly to play the ball out. Zamora. Cross blocked by Sinclair. I think we can expect to see Graham Sinclair very close to Zamora throughout most of the match. Handball by McGrain. So a free kick to Real in a potentially dangerous situation. None of the tall Spanish defenders is going forward. Yeah. Referee waving the Celtic roll of two men back. Duarte yeah. plays it in. Back to Zubiaga. It's a welcome sight for Pat Bonner. Was taken by Uforte. Wasn't a very good one. Was 
cleared out coming to Zubiaga. That was a reasonable shooting chance, but completely wasted. Sinclair trying to thread that through for Proman. Highlights all of the fullback has shown plenty of pace in the early stage of the match. There's McGarvey. Filiator marking him. And again, it's Celtic's corner kick. Robin with a kick. And along by Zetrust again. Porta Varia, the sweeper. Celiet has made a lot of ground from that defensive position. Giraldi was going through the middle. That's cut out by Adam for McLeod. Charlie Nicholas. On the green. Coven. Inside Olaizola appeared to be impeded by the combination of Moraldi and Olaizola. Free kick taken quickly by McGrain and Nicholas is flagged offside. So David Proven going a very positive run. Sandwich between two defenders. Passed on by the third day. McGrain running into trouble. Rufati has a twist again on the left. Miraldi for the middle. Well, showing a weakness, I think. Rufati on his right foot. Going on a good run on this occasion after winning the ball in that tackle with McGrain. He had options available both left and right. Chose to go right across to make an angle for the right foot shot, and certainly it's a very disappointing one when it flies towards one. Celtic with the free kick. There's Nicholas picking on Doris. Corner kick this time on the Celtic left. Robin sprinting across. Nicholas hunting for space among the Spanish defenders. Played in by Reed. There's McAdam. Not a bad header. Plenty of power. So back it came from the corner to Mark Reed. Floated cross. McAdam attacking the ball, a lot of power in the header of the target, just missed by the right hand post. Sinclair forcing it to McStay. Reagan, and once again the Spanish side pulling everybody back. Celtic have played across the back for all day, I think. The Spaniards certainly would not object to that. Here's Sinclair. Robin with the throw. Doesn't reach Nicholas. There's a fourth day. Next day. McGrain. Not quite flighted far enough by McGrain. McLeod jabbing it forward. McGarvey battling for it, and he's penalised for a spot of pushing as he came in. A protest from McGarvey, but I really think that this will be a fair decision when we see it again. Lobbed forward, McGarvey very determined going for it, pushing the defender away from the ball. Beaten by the opposing number 11, Charlie Nicholas. That's intended for Proven. It wasn't a good enough pass, though, and all the Celtic get from that's a throw in. Well, it's all back to Zamora. Zatristigi 
into space, but McGrain has plenty of time to start another Celtic build-up. 15 minutes gone, still no scoring. Celtic accordingly trailing by these two first leg goals scored in Spain. Misunderstanding between McStay and Common. by Sinclair on Zamora. The free kick will be taken by Ufarte. Zamora, followed by Sinclair. He's been away from the Celtic man. Well, that's not an effort they'll be proud of, Jesus Zamora. Taking the forward ball, it turns very well at Sinclair. Quickly beats him coming inside, but the final shot not good enough. Adams header, Nicholas touching it on. McGarvey's on the end of it. No problem. Celtic will need a great deal, I think, from Lady Pogan tonight on the right. He's definitely showing an appetite for the task. There's McGarvey. Pogan supporting. Good early cross. Good clearing header, and Zubiaga will take it away for Real with Uraldi on the break. One against two. Karam is there, covered by Aiken. Well taken by Bonner. Moraldi showing his menace on the break. Showing a lot of pace and good close control. Pedro Moraldi, he took on McCann very well. McCann and battling to get back. Aiken was waiting inside and the cross taken by Bonner. Stay changing the point of the attack to the left. McLeod gave him no angle there, really. It's Diego for Real. We haven't seen much of him in midfield so far in the match. McGarvey. Crashing in on misunderstanding and all the Spanish defenders. An ambitious effort to not testing Arcanada. Nicholas. A oh, cynical foul by Diego. Well beaten by Charlie Nicholas. A warning for Diego. Maybe lucky at that. That was a great piece of close control by Charlie Nicholas. And the tackle quite cynical. Calvin's free kick. Was much too high, it was bending, I think, but again, not testing our Canada way over the top. No problem, he's having a tough task getting away from all right, Zola. Rain. Oh, that's great play by Nicholas. He's lost the advantage for a moment, he's got it back. Great little chip, Silieta with the clearance. Next day, the pass cut off, retrieved all by Sinclair. Rain's pass goes astray and the pressure goes off the Spanish defence.
Excellent, great play there by Charlie Nicholas. Coming to nothing in the end. Zubiara with the forward header. Ufate beaten by McGrain. He got the deflection to win the throw. Nicholas turning Goris. Ramagavi. Positive run into the box, chance for the cross. And the Spanish cover was good. Well, they stopped by Aiken, but this Spanish defence has looked very resolute indeed. Very well organised. Always getting an extra man back in cover. Aiken for Selden. Spanish side giving the Celtic back for the freedom of the field. Unlucky for Mother McLeod, took his eye off that. Oraldi. Good challenge initially by McAdam, but... Yaga to Ufate. Well, maybe a problem. Danny McGrain wanted to throw, but it's gone to Real. Julio Lightsora with the throw for Real Sociedad. Just a trace of a limp there from Paul McStays. He went for that ball. Cloud off in the run, Bokta Baria covering that all the way, spotted it early, came across number six. Second, Graham Sinclair penalised for the challenge on Zamora. Chase for Mugabe. Silieta, his shadow is with him. Celtic's throw. Now can Nicholas turn. Teasing the Spanish defence. Good header out by Silieta. Free kick is given against McGrain for raising his boot too high. Indirect free kick is awarded. All well, very much in the continental fashion. Danny McGrain, the man penalised. There's something I think that would not have been penalised in the domestic game. Across by Roy Aiken. Zubiaga, good side step on McStay. Zola playing it forward. Satristige beaten by McAdam. That's a good recovery by the striker. Created space now for Ufate on that left foot. And next day, forced to concede the corner kick. So the party will take the corner kick for Real, and they've certainly shown a lot of skill up front when they've come forward. Enough to keep the Celtic defence on its toes. Second chance now for Ofati with the cross. That's a good ball, a great chance! Situation Celtic wanted to avoid. Pedro Oraldi on the 25th minute. Well, there was 
certainly be an inquest among the Celtic defenders about this one. Corner kick initially was cleared straight back to Bifarte. Now this is a good outswinging cross, but look at the space Oraldi has. All is on, one there is no chance. Bifarte's cross did the damage. Oraldi got the goal just as he did in the first leg in Spain. And Celtic are now faced with the prospect of scoring four times to stay in the European Cup. Probably wins a corner kick, and we've now got a hush all around Celtic Park. The away goal, which makes life so difficult now for Celtic. And Reid trying one from long range. Scoreline Celtic nil, Real Sociedad one. So the big question remains whether Celtic can score four times in 70 minutes and Charlie Nicholas so close to making it one apiece. Won the corner kick. Robin's corner kick, and again a bit of climbing there by both McAdam and Sinclair. So here's Charlie Nicholas, very crowded situation, did well to get the shot in, well, unless it came off a defender. Corey's with the clearance. You won't be in any way upset about that. So Billy McNeil in the Celtic dugout. Looking for flex as well he might. Sakos Tegui forcing it back to Zubiaga. There's Diego through the middle for Oralde. Very much the danger man in a striking situation for Real. Free kick given for the challenge by Olaitola on Coven. McGarvey. And a turn from Coven. Zamora in trouble. Used a hand, the line's been indicating to the referee, and Celtic get the free kick. Frank McGarvey still running himself into the ground up front for Celtic. There's very few openings. Let's see if he can get one from this common free kick. And the referee being invited to wave back Dolai Tola. Proven. Arcanada punching it out. Torres with the header and Aiken was pushing again. The Belgian referee not standing for any bodily contact inside the box. So Robin lofting in the free kick. Arcanada punching it out. He might well have taken that. He had time. And then Reed lofting it high in the air, Aiken going there with Goris. Well, he's doing a bit of pushing, you can see that. Aiken to McAdam. McAdam again, followed by Satrustigi. Playing it inside and Celtic running into trouble. Yeah, 
Partey wide to Olaito. Forward battling back. Diego. Kalayeta back to Arcanada and the whistling goes on all around the stadium. Now Nicholas. So I think there has been forced so often to turn back, right towards the back four. There's no gaps at all. Spanish defence so far. Celieta. Diego wide on the right. Great back to Aiken. Garvey to Nicholas. Well, Nicholas wanted a free kick for the challenge by Zamora. Zamora making a play again for Real, not Oralde. Diego. Zubiaga and very ominous signs now appearing that the Spanish side has settled down completely after that goal from Oralde. He looked very composed indeed. There's Oralde. A fine turn. Acoustic is stopped by McAdam. Diego challenging Nicholas unfairly. A free kick to Celtic. Again, obstruction. Defender this time was Goris. Mike McGarvey. Well, he's got the break of the ball, now getting away from Diego. Well to make such progress, but again, the covering was good on the part of the Spaniards. Corta Barria, the very experienced sweeper. There he goes again. Nicholas. Gores is his marker. And the foul, Nicholas giving Celtic a free kick once again. Makaida Manakin going forward to the box. And Celtic will welcome the goal at this stage. The early input is petering out with a little over 10 minutes in the first half left. Lyon has got that forward to Aiken. Celieta with the clearance. Celieta very much a hero in the heart of that Spanish defence. So the pass played forward. Release Troy Aiken. Good early cross. Celieta getting in with the clearance. So Celtic's corner kick taken by Proven. And this time it's a goal kick. Very idly positioned to assess that. Well, a free kick given against McLeod for well. Good challenge in the air. Is leaving it to Cortabaria, which means another few seconds are taken up. Goraldi moving about at the edge of the box. And it's straight through to Bonner. Ten minutes of the first half left. Celtic still trailing by one goal to nil on the night. Three nil on aggregate. 
Cloud. Next day, a chance for the shot. Didn't catch it properly, Nicholas in the back, Keeler. Well, that's about the first time we've seen a bit of panic in that Spanish defence. Mugabe hustled out of it by Diego. A lively customer indeed. With the Yaga coming back. Zamora takes over in the deep midfield position. Very good at retaining possession. Oralde. Well, oh, let's not be cheeky. This is a very good Spanish side. Picking up the loose ball in midfield again. Well, the Celtic supporters are becoming restless, but you have to hand it to the Real Sociedad players. Anxious look at the watch for Billy McNeil. Less than 10 minutes in the first half left. And Drain's challenge, pushing the ball forward. Alain Sola plays it out for Celtic's throw. Well, the number two for Real Sociedad is Sean Why He's won caps for Spain. He's only six so far, but I'm sure there may be a more to come. Tom McAdam. Now Reed. McLeod with a turn pass. Good turn of pace from Reed. Gores with a header. Now it's a true sticky on the break. Nathan's clear is falling straight to Zamora. It's a true sticky again. Well won by McStay. Read that very well. Roman has come inside. So did Olaizola. Cloud to McGrain. Mugabe beaten by Silayeta. Good ball by next day, back to Reed. Now Aiken. Good return ball from Mugabe. That was spotted by Cortabaria, the sweeper. Good piece of play by Celtic coming forward. So Aiken playing it forward to McGarvey, going for the return ball, making room for the shot, and it was blocked by Cortabaria. Kind of as well up. McGrain's missed kick, and McGarvey couldn't keep it in. McGrain hanging his head. Cloud. Danny McGrain. No problem, there's a very little change out of Ole Solan. Very little again. There's McAdam charging forward. McGarvey to Nicholas. Let's see if Nicholas can produce some magic. It's some inspiration that Celtic badly need now. Mark Canada claiming that in commanding fashion. Rufarte on the break. Zamora's gone forward. Satristic drawing to the left. Well, that disappointing shot from the international striker. Salieta again. Picked up by McGrain. Five minutes of the first half left. Aiken. Problem. 
Because they've really hit the dead ball line so far in the match, Paul, but only been forced to go deeper and deeper. Aiken, Paul, this time with a good chance to cross. That's a good ball. Reed back to McStay. Blocked by Goris. There's no way through that Spanish defence at the moment. Garvey drawing to the left, finding space. Crosses behind Nicholas, there's Proven. Couldn't get Paul behind the header. But still, Proven found some space in the box that time. Good ball played out by McStay, finding McGarvey. Turned well, took time to look up. There was Proven coming in, and up the bounce on the ball, and he couldn't get Paul in the header. so far but still Celtic trailing and uh, substitutes are out on the track warming up got the barrier with the free kick problem Celtic would dearly want to goal before half time if Arty stealing it from Proven Satrustegui pulling to the right Uralde Diego's in the box the party, Zamora number 10 going outside him. Zubiaga. No trouble there for Bonner. Gores with the header down to Olai Tola. Nicholas back to McGrain. Once again, the Spaniards funnel back into defensive positions. How effectively they've done that right throughout the first half. Everybody now facing the ball for Real Sociedad. Karen running into Zubiaga. Zubiaga again. Zamora. Uralde. Spaniards doing very well indeed. Whenever they have possession, they get players into space. There's always someone available to take the pass. Goris. Then a follow by Reed. Garvey chasing. Portavaria has that well under control. Here's Nicholas. Crowded out. Caught the barrier with the bike pass. The Celtics free kick. The referee doesn't want it taken in too big a hurry. He wants to have a word with someone. No, in fact, he wants. Streamer taking off the field, are you a picture? There he goes, the ball boy. So back it comes to Aiken. McGrain to Robin, he's going away from all it's all off for about the first time in the match. Good play from Robin. Brought down by Cortavaria, now that was cynical. The look of innocence not deceiving a referee. The yellow card is shown to the sweeper. This is great play from Proven. Drinking into the light solo. Plodderev attacking well at the Spanish defence. What to hope by Cortabaria. Cortabaria is good. It's the final minute of the first half. The referee is still doing his paperwork. David Proven can't yet take this. Free kick. McLeod inviting a short one square. There's Mother McLeod. A perfect strike from McLeod and Celtic at level. And 
outstanding goal from Martha McLeod, and that will surely revive Celtic's fortunes. Came from the free kick. Baby Robin lining it up onto that lethal left foot of Martha McLeod, and look at the power in that shot. Arcanara beaten to the line. So McLeod brings Celtic back into the match. And in fact, no time at all for the match to be restarted. The half time score Celtic 1, Real Sociedad 1. Guy's still buzzing after that Murdo McLeod goal, and there's Tommy Burns on at the start of the second half, getting a great roar as he takes his first pass. The change is Burns for Mark Reed, with Graham Sinclair dropping back into the fullback position. So we'll see how fit Tommy Burns is, and certainly his creative genius in midfield will be more than welcome because the Spanish side showed themselves to be very efficient indeed, although we didn't see very much of that in the first half. Celayeta was the offender that time, and Gores is getting involved too. So there's Burns with a very decisive tackle, a ball through to Frank McGarvey, Celayeta catching him from behind. So the free kick to Celtic. Explosive start to the second half, just as we had it the first, incidentally, when Celtic so nearly took the lead, and after that they found it very difficult to create chances. McLeod again, deflection, Narcanada quickly along his line to collect that. Morda McLeod again showing his power on these set pieces. A short free kick again taken by Burns, driven hard by McLeod. It took a deflection and Narcanada had to scamper across his goal line. There's Amora with Satristiki on the right. Satristiki giving his teammates some stick for the quality of the pass. Graham Sinclair now functioning at left back. Well, there's no stranger to the full back position. That was his main role for Dumbarton before his £60,000 transfer out of the season. Danny McGrain. Garvey. Well, Aitzola driving it against Davy Proven for Real's goal kick. Pushing there from behind by Danny McGrain and we all associate as have the free kick. They certainly have shown themselves to be a very good side indeed. Superbly organised at the back. And very dangerous on the break. And that came off Tom McAdam. The referee's not giving a goal kick. Oraldi is furious at that. Well, you can see clearly from this that Oraldi makes the turn, gets away from Aiken, tries to chip one to the far corner. Comes off the head of Tom McAdam and goes behind, but the referee gave a goal kick. Barnes forced to go square to the grain. Free kick awarded by the linesman, effectively, on the far side, raving furiously at the referee. That's McGarvey. Zamora is number 10, Celieta is 2. There's McStay, looking for McLeod. That's just the onward to McLeod, going behind for the goal kick. half of the field to work in. The Spaniards again fall back. Well, that's Nicholas at his best. All the referee waving play on, Nicholas thought he was impeded. Zubiaga, midfield dynamo. Zubiaga again, robbed by Barnes. Play that 
through the inside right channel for McLeod. Movement was a bit delayed there by the Celtic front runners. A bit difficult for Burns. Play from McGrain. Burns again. Plays back by McGarvey towards Nicholas. The cover was good enough again. Corey's is the man. Gotta get it with the task of covering Charlie Nicholas. Foot up in that tackle. Well, let's we'll see that get the free kick, which I'm sure they will take with no urgency whatsoever. Gennaro Silayeta with the free kick. It's a poor one, but the header from the cloud falls right for Diego. This is a twisty game. Diego again. Salayeta, Rinaldi, well, he might well have been fouled from behind by Aiken, but the referee ways play on. And here's McGarvey in space, Robin on the right. It's Day going through the middle. And that was cut out by Kubiaga, that's a terrible tackle on Frank McGarvey. Well, the pace of the Celtic forwards, bringing some desperate tactics from the Spaniards. There's McGarvey in the first instance, playing it in towards McStay. Subiaga cut it out. It fell for McGarvey, and that's Cortabaria again, guilty of a very bad tackle. Well, oh, for my money, Cortabaria, a very lucky man. He was the man who fouled McGarvey for the free kick, which led to the first half goal. Let's see if it can lead to one in the second half, too. Burns, McLeod, and Proven clustered around the ball. Long Spanish wall. Again to McLeod. He's closed down quickly. Okay, I'm trying to get in around the back of Corta Barria. Adam's run earning Celtic a corner kick. Headed hey! out by Zubiaga. Runs losing to Goris. Certainly guilty of a trip on Zamora. The whistle goes on it belatedly, but it's certainly a real free kick. No bother showing plenty of urgency. Sinclair to Burns. Once again, McGarvey. Aiken has Sinclair on his left. Crowded penalty box ahead. McAdam. Green providing the width. And Nicholas with the return pass. Green gets it across. Touched on by McGarvey. Here's Aiken. by Uraldi, and he can stay forward for Celtic. Still bobbing about in that Real box. Here for Gores eventually. So Aiken will try to turn the screw again. Barnes now to McAdam. Rain. Corbin taken from behind by Olaitola. Again, Celtic's free kick. Spaniards crowding around the ball. The referee, the Belgian referee, it pains again to invoke the 10 yard rule. <laughs> Corbin 
Bowman has bumps to his left. The foul called it over. Flighted this time and away by Arcanada. Dumped out by Uraldi. Spanish players not even bothering to follow that over the halfway line. Inviting another wave of Celtic attacks. Zubiega was fouled by Burns, pushing his ball into the air. Ten minutes of the second half gone. And the Spanish players have weathered the early storm from Celtic, just as they did in the first half. And in the first half, you may recall, they grew in confidence and stature as the game went on, with his mixed day coming forward. Well, he scored some fine goals from outside the box already this season, Paul mixed day, but that was one of his better efforts. around them, the shot is deflected for the corner kick. Well, Charlie Nicholas has spent the first half and the beginning of the second marked by Alberto Gores, man for man marking among the Spaniards with Cortavaria, the spare man, it's been very effective so far. That's done by Meccano, Mark Canara clears it. Back in from mixed day, the flag is up for offside. Nicholas penalised. This is a good corner kick taken on the left by Proven. Good leap by McAdam, heading it on towards the far post and Arcanada with a very decisive punch. Zamora to Ufari, Uraldi over on the left. Good play by McAdam. McLeod. Next day. Nicholas has found space. Well, trying to tee it up for Paul McStay, who had continued his run. Short. Sinclair taking on Satristigi and the Spanish striker as well with the blocking challenge. Nicholas goes over and the decision is a goal kick. Challenge from Tom McAdam. Now Barnes. McGarvey and Nicholas off and runs up front again. Taking the markers with them. Here's McGarvey. Silieta can't be far away. There he is. McLeod to McGrain. Oh, McGarvey looked to be eased off that by Silieta. Protesting to the linesman. But protesting in vain. The long ball plus a twist to get a chase. Again, coping well. 
well. Good tackle from the green. Garvey's got away from Silieta. He's got Nicholas waiting inside. Still McGarvey. Well, he worked very hard indeed to create an opening for the shot. Well to no avail. McGarvey does very well here with Silieta. Battled hard for it, won it well. Nicholas was well marked inside. Cortavaria does well, just stalling it on forward by McGarvey. Had to come inside, and the final shot well wide. Just again into space, a great chance here for Zamora. The green did well. The covering run and one out nine in the ball. The green sink on uh, the Celtic. Half an hour left. I must say that if Celtic could retrieve this tie in the last half hour, one of the finest performances ever playing against a very good Spanish side indeed. And it must be because we won a league which has Real Madrid and Barcelona in it. They won it twice in a row, so they obviously are a very good side and they're proving it here tonight. Well organised at the back, for sure the midfield and dangerous in the break. Nicholas running out of space coming forward. Green will try again. Back to Corbin. Now Green, Aiken available inside. And he's way into the box and waiting a rash tackle, I think. It's Paul McStay. Good goalkeeping by Arcanada. Mike McGarvey in a spot of trouble there as he followed through. Well, some Spanish temper spraying. The ball finding its way out to McStay, controlled it well. Very powerful shot taken by Arcanada at full stretch. Well, I can't think why. We also see that have been given a free kick. It seemed to be a perfectly fair challenge as Arcanada went down on the ball. Celtic's throw once Danny McGrain repairs the damage done by Ufarty's kick up the track. Day back to Aiken. McLeod. Aiken again. Good running by Nicholas. Well, just teed it up for the defender, Alberto Gores. No buns. Next day. Trying a 1 2 is stopped by Zamora and Zet Christigui is offside. This is Maria Zetristigui. Working very hard up front and working in scraps for most of the match but looking very dangerous. Nicholas back to Aiken. Well, the intention was clear, I think he was trying to bluster it. Well, Nicholas screening the ball from Gores. Spotted Aiken behind, and Aiken coming forward. Only one thought in mind, you can see that as he comes forward. So a substitution in a very slow, leisurely fashion. And we also see that Diego goes off. He's operating for the most part in midfield right. And his replacement is number 14, Laranaga. Satristigui. If 
Partey stopped by McStay, but the ball carried out for the throw. Now calling all that experience in Wales to try to while away the remaining time in the match. Twenty-five minutes left. Aranagas first contribution puts the ball into the Celtic half for one half to start the Celtic attack through Sinclair. Again. Burns wants it. Good play from Burns. That's Magavi. That's for Proven. Good covering challenge by Corta Barria. The fine match, the Spanish sweeper just spoiled by one or two bad tackles around the box. Crowded is in that corner of the box. Robin, taking the light solar. Got the cross in. Celayeta waiting for it. Taken again. Mugabe wants the return. All trying the first time on the drop. And they knew that he wouldn't get a second chance with Celayeta marking him. There's Aiken coming forward. Ball played wide. The turn to McGarvey from Aiken and the miss kick takes this pressure off the Spanish defence. Spanish player coming to Aiken, an old funneling back. And McAdam. And it's a bit careless, so Farty stepping in. All still in play. Farty has Zamora going ahead. Yes, a through the middle. Crunching tackle from McStay. Sociedad delighted to play the match in this area of the field. Let's see if McLeod can change that. Oh, he's well beaten. Uraldi. Maranaga. Zamora and Zatristige working a 1-2, which the grain breaks up. The impetus has gone out of the Celtic attacking play. Burns trying to restore it. But really the Spanish side has made life very difficult indeed for Celtic tonight. It's been a splendid performance by Real. He's shown all the qualities required of a side playing an away tie in Europe. Celtic badly need a couple of sparks of individual genius, I think. There's McLeod. Well, he did well hitting out of the turn. Might have made all the difference. Maybe Provin was running at the defence. Ball breaking across. It should have been cleared at that point. Corta Barria got into a bit of a fankle. Broke back for McLeod. He did well to find the space for the shot. And the left footer on the turn going over the top. Free kick to Real Sociedad. Uraldi fouled by Graham Sinclair. Maranaga playing it in. It's helped on by Uraldi. 
Well, once again, that fell to Ufati's right foot. That meant no danger to Bono. Burns. Nicholas with the return pass. Danny McGrain. Water barrier thumping it out. A lot of discussion going on on the field among the Celtic players. Defensive Celtic bench. And that's a corner kick. Robin with the corner. Well, the referee really is very sore on any challenge in the air. Celtic penalised and a spot of climbing on the penalty spot, and that relieves the pressure again on the Spanish defence. way through to Buns, that pass from next day. So Aiken again has a chance to start another Celtic move from a deep position. Thoughts turning perhaps to the introduction of George McCluskey from the Celtic bench, if he's fit enough. Here's McLeod. Great effort by Murray McLeod. Well saved by the Spanish goalkeeper, Arcanada. You'll see how little space Murray McLeod had for this. Well played by Nicholas getting a cross in. McLeod under great pressure ups. Very good volley. Kick to Real on the off the halfway line. Aranaga turning it on and he gets headed out. There's McGarvey probing up in the run on the right. Celayeta. He's been a great defender tonight for Real Sociedad, the number two. Zamora beaten by Burns. Recovery challenge was from Neuforte. Paul McStay. Well, the referee is bringing the play back. Not for a moment he was giving advantage, as Proven had possession, but Zubiaga went in with a very severe challenge. Well, that caught Nicholas looking away. Satrustigi, Aranyaga, Zamora, Zubiaga, Sinclair, full stretch, Geraldi in behind him. scorer on the Spanish side last season with 14 goals and he's got two crucial ones against Celtic in this tie overall one tonight one in Spain Bacon is penalized for easing Zamora off the ball well, you can see he's not at all happy about it but I can't help feeling the referee was technically correct
Aiken back in position. Party may try to bend one with that left foot. Way by Sinclair, but Zubiaga will be first to the ball. Now Zamora. So the tackle from Aiken is penalised again. Free kick again. The Mora plays it in. Aikens clearance. It's a fine tackle by Zubiaga. It's a Tristigi. Trying to take on Aiken to no avail. 15 minutes left, 15 minutes in which Celtic the clock to score three times this day in the European Cup. To be fair to the Spaniards, it's always looked something of a hopeless task from the moment that Uraldi scored in the 25th minute. Aiken hands the throw. Cloud. Cut out by Cortavarias. Robin came in. Good turn from Robin. Next to A to the brain. Feels a handball, waved aside by the referee. Make rather desperate appeals. Satristigi here going on. There's McAdam barging him down. No doubt about the free kick. But surely the damage wasn't as bad as all that. Oh, the Celtic bench looking very solemn indeed. As well, they might. Sweeping of Corta Barria, equal to the task. Celtic have to be content with yet another corner kick. in a hurry with the throw. Free kick given for the challenge on Barnes by Laranaga. Ball next day. Just beyond Nicholas. Next day trying to get through by himself. There's too many players in his path. Here's Ufarte on the break. 
Satrushtiki looking very sprightly going through the middle. In midfield now, Ufate. Colvin's tackle gets the ball to McGarvey. Now Nicholas, good return pass. Well, just a bit tight, perhaps. Stay to McGrain. Barnes, it was just beyond on the pass. Satrus again. Sudiaga, Uralde. Now Martin McLeod. Good run wide from Burns. Again, that man caught the barrier. Coming across to clear it. Nicholas, Proven. He's falling for it all day. Now it's both Barnes. Aiken. Grain flighting it in, McGarvey barged off the ball, the referee ignoring appeals for a foul. Well, now that seemed to be a clear case of barging as McGarvey went for the ball. Started at the back with Aik in this move. Played to McGrain, he flighted it in now, just watch McGarvey being played off the ball, and that was a penalty kick. And Nicholas on the ground as Stay comes forward. Day following through there and got his. I think he'll be in trouble for that. Looking for Paul McStay. Certainly was a bit reckless with the late challenge. This time I have some sympathy with Goris as he's on the deck. He certainly appeared to take a sore one. some dissent, they're complaining, I think, perhaps about the booking, but certainly about that penalty incident. There's no doubt about it, the referee missed that. I think it's perhaps a bit late to make a lot of difference in the match, or the outcome of the tie, but I'm sure Celtic are very anxious to win the match, never mind the tie tonight. Celtic make a substitution near the end. So has McCluskey been given a late run. Too late, I'm sure, to turn the match. David Proven is the man going off. Well, six minutes left for George McCluskey to make an impact on the match. Lofting it forward, Satristigi with Aiken. Satristigi is still working hard. Showing no signs at all of the knock, which caused a great hold up in the second half. 
McAdam. Uh, Sinclair. Barnes under immediate pressure from Laranyaga. And Charlie Nicholas. Cloud looking for McGarvey. On to McStay. Second chance for McStay. Oh, that must have missed by inches. So Paul McStay so close to a second goal. Throw in from Burns. Nicholas did well initially. Playing it inside. McLeod forward. McGarvey got a good little touch. McStay had his first shot blocked. And the second shot whistling just wide. Nicholas holding off the defender unfairly. Free kick to Real Sociedad. Zamora. So the head tennis ends with McStay controlling it. Out to McLeod! for the corner kick. Arcanada is furious about that decision. A good build up on the right. McStay taking it. Charlie Nicholas coming forward, shipping it across. Headed out, McLeod shot deflected. That's a corner kick. McStay still trying to find room for the shot. To the Yaga, to the Satristigi. Like it comes to Zubiaga. Lynch put in the middle of the field. Right in the centre of midfield he's played all night. One of the youngest players on the side at 23. Celtic's youngest player, Paul McStay. Lusky. Back again to McLeod, and this time it's there. Well, that's a very welcome goal. Late goal is in the match. Well, McCluskey doing the damage initially, a good turn and run forward. Playing into the path of McStay, he teed it up from McLeod. Fierce left foot shot, it took a slight deflection again to beat Arcanada. And that makes it two goals to one. And one of McLeod taking his tally for the season to nine. The scoreline Celtic two, Real Sociedad one, and just two minutes left for play. Goal by Pedro Oralde. Looks certain now to take Real Sociedad through to the third round of the European Cup. So can a miracle happen? Two minutes plus injury time for Celtic to conjure up two goals. Well, you can be sure they'll keep trying. Celtic so supporters back in good heart. There's McStay. Well aimed for Burns, picked out by Larinaga. That's playing for the corner flag, I think. Wasting some time. Roy Aiken. Classic Zatristigi. 
Zamora for Real. Corner will have to try the long one this time. Right ahead of Zubiaga. Nicholas. McGrain. McLeod again. Another deflection, but not working for him this time. And here's little Uvarte coming across. Satrustigi. Uraldi. Laranaga. Back from Silieta to Arcanada. The Spaniards anxiously waiting for the final whistle. Well, Celtic still playing with lots of urgency. Finding it very difficult to find a way through. Celtic's throw. Lines would appear to give a free kick, but it's McGrain with the throw for Celtic. Time fast running out for the Scottish champions. We can lofting it in through the box. Subiaga wins it. And eventually thumped into the stand. Burns trying to turn. Good play from Burns. Still not clear. Well, it will be now, I think. Yes, out to Uvarte. Laranaga sprinting through the centre. Uvarte retaining possession. Running straight into Aiken. Aiken switching to the offensive. Running into Zubiaga this time. Well, there goes the final whistle. Celtic the winners on the night by two goals to one. The goal is coming from Murdo McLeod, but the away goal by Pedro Uralde for Real. The 25th minute, good enough to take Real Sociedad through to the third round of the European Cup.